So today I'm going to change and upgrade my front speakers from standard paper cones to component speakers. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and continue to watch. Right, so on the door card you want to do all the Phillips screws. T20 piece in here, screwdriver up here. In the door card here you've got two screws in here. Uh, cut them to the bottom, cut up the side. So I'm going to crack on with that and show you now. You've got all the screws out. What you're going to do then is grab it from the bottom, the top from the bottom, lift it up, and slide down. In my case, I've got some wiring, so I'll have to balance it on here. Disconnect. There you go. Some adapters the links for everything I use in this video are in the description below there's the adapters plastic apparently these stop vibration as well but we'll see I've noticed now from here that the tweeter and these are coaxial speakers and they look like the upgraded speakers that from Sony. Gonna get these out. And that's one speaker. The size of these are five by sevens. Put that to the side. And with the new speaker adapter wiring I've got, plug it in, there you go, clip straight in, my adapter, remember all these parts I use, they'll be in the description below of links of where you can buy them, so we put that up in, I'm going to do this, this way, This I'm going to do it this way around, okay, so the screws sink in, Okay, so your new speaker. Don't need the grill, so get rid of that. And your wire adapter. Plug straight onto the back. Positive is the red, and it goes onto the positive terminal. In case this is a bit tight on here, just get a flathead and just prise it open a little bit. Stop it from mine. Try again. There we go. Negative on there. Put it back in the door. And then you, with the kit, you should get four, four screws like this. Start off by doing the top one. Right, that's the door one installed. The passenger one's exactly the same, so I'm not going to show you that one. Um, put it all back together now. 
and then um, we'll crack on with the other side. Looks alright, doesn't it? What do you think? Yeah. I know they're only edge speakers, I will say that quickly. Um, they're, then these are, you can buy these from Halfords, I've got these off of, it, off of online because they were cheaper. Um, but I will post a link in the description below to, what, to buying these. I chose these for the pure fact that they're 80 watt RMS. Okay, and that's what you go by. Not by watts total power. You want to go by watts RMS. So these are 80 watts RMS. The amp I've got to run them is 70 watt per channel RMS. So it should drive these quite nicely. Give them a nice little thump mid range bass and some nice top end on the tweeter. So I'm going to put all this back together now and that's the door card one done. Let's crack on. Okay, so that's how you install the door speakers. Um, I'm going to now show you how to install the tweeters. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I have made um, a, like a template dummy run A pillar with a tweeter already here. Um, this is just, you know, a testing. This ain't finished fully yet, but there will be a video on how to do that in the cards across the top here somewhere. Um, so I'll show you how to make one of these yourself if you want to. So for the purpose of this video, that's just a mock-up. Uh, it's not 100% finished, but you'll see the final product in another video. So to do the tweeters, it's pretty simple. With your pillar and your custom, um, your custom tw tweeter pod, get your tweeter push the wires through and in the back there'll be some holes and that's where you push the wire in through okay. and then you just simply click it into place And that's that bit done. That's the actual tweet I've now put in there with the wire fish through the back. Now what you do with the rest of the wire is you poke it down the side of the A-pillar and under your dash. Okay, so this is where you need to run your wires to for your A-pillar tweeter. Where your water line runs, you want to tuck it down there and behind the dash. The best way to do this to fish wires is to take your headlight switch out and your vent out so let's remove them and then get the wiring done so now I'm going to remove the headlight switch that's what you got to do and then using a trim tool or just pop from the back and pull from the top and that'll come out okay so I'm going to run the wiring down here come then to the air vent and find it got it okay once you've got that far then you need to put your a pillar back in there's another wiring I've got it down by the vent. I can tuck the A pillar back up. Putting the wire through carefully at the same time. Being very careful. It just it's a it might be a bit tight. There you go. It clicks back in. Then what you need to do is click this back into place. And once you've got it all back up, put all your rubber melt, your rubber weather seal back in. Job done. So they're the new wires for the tweeter. They run to the cross fader wires which are here. 
the cross fader itself I've actually located just there with a bit of double sided sticky tape just attached it the woofer output runs down to these wires here the ones that run off the radio they're no longer needed okay so you run the woofer the wires there the input for the cross fader runs to these wires here and these are the wires that run into the amp Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the new wiring up to the crossfader. One, two, then tuck them up out of the way. And that is, and that is pretty much it. So that's how you install aftermarket component speakers into your car. I will post a playlist up at the top so you can follow along with this install from start to finish. Um, I'm going to be doing a complete boot install and that will be shown in another video. There will also be upcoming videos on how to build the custom A-pillars if you're interested in that. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.